Good morning. So today's topic is Integrated Child Development Services. Now, as far as introduction is concerned, National Policy on Children was declared in 1974 and they declared children as supremely important asset of the country. Initiated in 1975 by a Ministry of Social and Women's Welfare was basically a scheme called ICDS, Integrated Child Development Scheme. ICDS symbolizes nation's commitment to its children. Unique and world's largest child development program effectively coverages our Unganwadi working centers intersectorally present. As far as objective of the programs are concerned, improve nutritional and health status of children, lay foundation for psychological and social development of children, reduce mortality and morbidity, malnutrition, school dropouts, effective policy and implementation to promote child development, Enhance capability of the families to provide nutritional need of children. These are the beneficiaries of the services. Children under one year of age, one to three years of age, three to six years of age. Three categories of children. What will they be provided? They will be provided health checkups, immunization, group promotion, supplementary feeding, referral services, early childhood care and preschool education, and of course nutrition and health education to the mothers. Other than that, adolescent girls, pregnant women, and nectating females plus pregnant women are also part of this particular system. What is supplementary nutrition? If we talk in terms of supplementary nutrition, it is basically a food given to the children for 300 days in a year. The principle is that it should contain at least half of the protein and one third of total calorie requirement of the day for the children. As far as recipients are concerned, child up to six years must get at least 500 calories, 12 to 15 gram of protein. Dalits and girls, 500 calories, 20 to 25 gram of protein. Pregnant and nursing mothers, 600 calories, 18 to 20 gram of protein. Malnourished children, 800 calories, 20 to 25 gram of protein. Now in malnourished, what we see here is they double the daily supplement provided to other the 600 and the special nitrate as recommended. This is as per uh, the Government of India 2009 revised norms. Now let us talk something about the desired norms and staff for this particular program. Staff pattern, first of all, Anganwadi worker, a frontline voluntary worker of ICDS and assisted by Anganwadi helpers, medical officers, lady health visitors, a and and female health workers from nearby primary health center and sub-center work in an integrated manner and provide services. Central Technical Committee actually gives them training to medical and paramedical staff. Anganwadi centers, generally we place Anganwadis at 1,000 person in rural and urban projects, up to 700 persons in tribal projects, and up to 300 persons in sparsely populated hilly oblique desert areas. It has been reduced further to an extent in certain areas. We can have even uh, 400 uh, persons in tribal projects also. Tribal and central rural areas and urban rural areas can have a bit of change. Many Anganwadi workers, Anganwadi centers are basically to cover remote and low populated hamlets, public villages, 150 to 300 in tribal areas, 150 to 500 for rural areas. So as I told you, you know, the uh, number 
a people have been reduced as far as opening up uh, Ganwadi or center is concerned. So depending upon the requirement, it is being done. In certain areas where Anganwadi is not there, but if there are children, if there are 40 children under the age of six years in that area, then also an organ body can be open, and that is called demand, on demand organ body. So that's how things have changed, bit of rules have changed in these aspects. As far as finances are concerned, it is central in sponsored scheme through state government, public union territory administration with 100% financial assistance. Decided to expand support to states up to 50% of financial norms or 50% expenditure incurred by them in supplementary nutrition, whichever is less. Anganwadi worker gets about 5,000 per month, right? And Anganwadi helper about 3,000 rupees per month as our own area. Funding by the center and under general ID, ICDS scheme. Infrastructure, salaries, honorarium, training, and basic medical equipments are given by center. State government looks after providing supplementary nutrition to beneficiaries. Funds under Pradhan Mantri Gram of the Yojana also are diverted to this particular scheme. Additional assistance, monthly take home ration for under 0 to 6 years of children living below poverty lane also is provided. External fund, sometimes UNICEF, SIDA, WFP, CARE, World Bank also help. What is the impact of this particular program once it is initiated? Largely been a successful endeavor of the government. A holistic approach to child development involving active participation of the families has been seen into this. Mothers are bringing the children to the Anganwadis. Serves extreme underprivileged communities of the backward and remote areas of the country and ensure their maximum participation. Utilizes local honorary village level worker for delivery pack of package of services. Adequate improvement made in child survival and developmental indicators. In 1981, IMR used to be 110. 2004, it was 15. 2015, it was 44 and now it is somewhere 30, 30. A lot of improvement has been seen. Under 5 mortality, 161 in 83, 87, 2003, 67 NFHS and under 15 nowadays. Severely malnourished children used to be 15.3%. In 90s, it came down to 8.7%. 8 now ranging between 6.4 and almost you can say 6.4, 5 to 6.4%. So these are the data which show the impact of that. In spite of that, certain gap areas are also seen. In spite of big infrastructure developed under ICDS, program nutritional status of women and children remains almost the same of previous years. Reasons for lack of improvement in ICDS areas are infrastructure, processes, outcome. There is hardly any infrastructure. Processes are too long, long a time. And outcome, that's why it's not affected very much. Training, as far as training and supervision is concerned, Angan body worker has not been accorded dignity and prestige and as a voluntary honorary worker. Role of supervisor is marginal and CDPO skills should require improvement. Poor nutrition education to improve feeding practices at home. Quality of training of Angan body worker needs improvement. These are the reasons that in certain areas, we have not been able to improve the desired effect. We, we would not, didn't get the desired outcome in certain areas because of the reason mentioned above. ICDS coverage, NFHS3 team supervised collected information in each enumeration area on whether or not the enumeration area is, was covered by an ICDS organ body center. If so, when the center was established all these things all these informations are collected and seen it has been seen that 72 percent of uh, enumeration areas are covered by an anganwadi center 62 percent of uh, enumeration areas are covered by an anganwadi center that has existed for last five years right 
So these are the coverages which are not very much encouraging initially, but now things are improving a bit. Health services, health checkup, not done 0 to 3 years, 43.9 percent, 3 to 6 years, 43.3 percent. Children not receiving IFA, 6 months to 3 years, 44.4 well, percent did receive, 3 to 6 years age, may 3.35.2 percent did receive. Children immunized fully, of course, it's a very old data, there's 44 percent. Children were fully immunized, now it has gone up more than 65 percent, have been fully immunized. Only 44 percent of children aged 12 to 23 months are fully vaccinated, only a slight increase in coverage, 42 percent in NFS2. In NFS5, we have seen the coverage has gone up to 82 percent. Right? So slowly impact and improvement has been seen. Recommended and actual breastfeeding practices. Goal, initiation of breastfeeding within one hour of birth. Achievement 25 percent, I would say now achievement has reached to 80 percent. No pre-lectal feeding, yes, achievement has gone to 43 percent. It was earlier, but now it has gone to 65 percent. Exclusive breastfeeding, six months. Achievement initially in NFS2 was 46 percent. Now it is 86 percent. Almost all ladies are going for exclusive breastfeeding. No bottle feeding achievement was 86 percent earlier. It is now almost 95 percent. Timely complementary feeding, age 6 to 8 months. Achievement is more than 50% earlier, but it is now 78%. So things are improving. Things are improving because health education is imparted by these ladies to the target couple groups. So there is a lot of improvement which we have seen in various indicators as far as ICTS is concerned. Recommendation. Reducing child malnutrition requires more than a well-functioning Anganwadi center. Care of newborn in under three years requires special attention. Emphasis of 10th and 11th plan is to cover emergence of Department of Women and Child Development and medical colleges to be started for quality of services and universalization of ACTs. Nutrition education is the critical intervention which is required in this particular program. All components of services should get priority for effective health development in children and women. So this is how program of ICDS goes on and that was the earliest coverage for that.